let's dive right in. So I always like to start off with moisturizing my face and putting chapstick on simply because um, my lips get super dry and if I um, chap them up before um, before and while doing all my makeup by the time I get to my lips my lips are nice and moisturized so if I use a lip gloss or a lipstick um, or even like a matte lipstick it just doesn't feel dry and I hate putting on lipsticks lipstick or anything on my lips with like having them dry I don't like it not even like lip gloss but yeah so I start off with this and especially because summer is coming I am going in with my Lancome sunscreen. Why are you doing that? Uh, sunscreen with SPF of 30. At first, it feels so like surreal to be like, oh, I'm using this and this. When I used to always like, you know, as being a young girl and watching other YouTubers and stuff. Obviously, I will always, you know, just be inspired um, to do my own videos. And I remember we used to have this laptop. And I would, like, you know, set it there. And I would use my mom's makeup at that time. Sorry, mom. I would use my mom's makeup at the time. And I would, like, practice eyeshadows and be like, oh, I'm using this today, this today. And obviously, the quality of the video was, like, horrible. Um, but, you know. So it's like now it's like I'm living what I wanted to live a long time ago. And that just shows, you know, patience. And when the time is right, the time is right, girl. After I moisturize, I go in with my Maybelline Instant Pore Eraser. What this does is I have a lot of pores here. And so what this helps, um, this fills in those pores so your makeup can look Flawless in this case, obviously your foundation And I just put it here here My nose here and then my chin Cool, so now after that I go in I go in with two different foundations simply because I can't find my perfect color um, With Maybelline I always use Maybelline use two different ones um because i can't find my exact shade um but i use the maybelline fit me matte poreless i like a matte face i don't like dewy simply because my face is oily itself and especially during the summer like even worse but i do have oily skin so i always go in with my i love matte um foundation it suits my skin um type best and it says right here normal to oily and I mix the colors 228 and 220. I start off first with my 220 simply because my neck is lighter than the rest of my face. Um, and I spot this all over. Now with my 228. And this one is just a bit, a little darker. Um, and that's just simply because the 220 by itself, it's too light for me. Okay. So with my beauty blender, and for the ones who do not know what a beauty blender is, which I'm sure right now everybody already knows, but you never know, um, it's just a little sponge so you can apply on your makeup. I definitely prefer a beauty blender way more than a brush simply because it just applies a lot better, a lot smoother. It goes more into your skin and all that. And if you just wet it just a bit, um, your foundation applies on very, very smoothly. I love it. Blend, blend, blend. I forgot a step I got sidetracked by explaining what the beauty blender was but what I do is um, I go in with my concealer 
So I put in little dots of um, foundation everywhere and I don't put any here so I can put in my concealer and this is by Revolution in C5 over here. And now I blend everything in. And the reason why I put on my concealer at the same time as my foundation, and I'm going to go in with more concealer in a bit, is because my dark circles are a little too dark. Um, so what I do is I go in with my concealer and to lighten it up. Okay, so... Foundation is on, so after that, I go in with my same concealer, apply some more to brighten up even more. And then I go in with, sorry, I just shook the camera. Now I go in with my, also for Maybelline, my concealer. Um, it's a concealer, but I use it to contour. And I like putting on cream contour um, and then set it with powder, the powder, powdered contour, because um, it just stays on. It's long wearing. It stays on all day. And this is in the color 60. And I know it looks a little scary because it's very dark, but um, you just put a little bit. And obviously, if you're lighter skin tone than I am, I'm just, I'm tan. Um, then obviously grab a shider, uh, can't speak, grab a lighter shade than this one. Put some here. Here. My forehead. And I just put a dash on my nose. My nose is already kind of like small, but I still like to put it there. Just so, um, because when I blend out my concealer, my nose kind of, kind of gets lost in all the whiteness that's going on. Um, and the reason why I put these little, the reason why I like to contour my forehead too, it's just to make it look a little smaller and it gives my face more dimension, more shape. Um, because you lose a lot of your face structure with the foundation and the concealer and all that. So what contour does it comes and saves you to give you structure back to your face so you don't lose your your all that so now we go in with the same beauty blender and blend in now i like to pat down first so you know where you want your concealer your contour to be don't go all crazy stay in one spot and do little dabs so you can spread out the concealer well, in this case, contour. So you just dab, dab, dab until it's all where you would want it to be. And then after that, just kind of move a little freely. I like to follow it up here to my, because I like to contour this as well. So, hmm. This side. And my forehead. And um, don't be scared if you look a little crazy with all this contour going on. Um, because contour does make your face a little darker, um, that's why I don't blend in my concealer first. Um, I like to just uh, blend it all in first, my concealer first. These are my little hairs. And then I go into, now I flip it, use this side for my concealer, and I blend that right in. And again, I'm just dabbing, 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 dabbing. Don't smear, but dab. And the reason why I don't like to, you don't smudge, but you dab is so you can have control of your products that are on your face. And then over here, my nose. 
I go in with my translucent powder in what's the name on here? Translucent. It just says translucent extra. Um, And yeah, so for the ones who do not know what translucent powder is, translucent powder is just pretty much powder, obviously, right? Um, that it, and I know sometimes some people, and I know when I first started using translucent powder, when I saw it and all that, I'm like, why is so, why is it so much wider than my face? But what translucent powder does is it's translucent, you know, so it, um, blends into whatever skin color that you are um which is a good thing and what translucent powder does is just like any other powder that you would usually use it sets your makeup for you so all i do is grab in and i set it right under my eyes And my eyes as well so I make sure that it's not creasing or that it's oily or anything like that for my eyeshadow and then I put some on my forehead oh my forehead my chin and to define my cheekbone more I place it right under here and that's all you don't want to put the translucent powder where you put your um where you contoured because it's just gonna lighten um everything up and we don't need that we're gonna set it right now with our powder and this is my anastasia um palette in medium to tan and then i'm gonna go in with my i know it's here somewhere I'm just going to go in with a brush. And, sorry, it's a little dirty, but I'm going to go in with this one first, which is the second to darkest color in here. I start off with that one first um, so I can warm up the face first, and then I'll go in with the um, darker one. So I just focus right. Do this so you know where your cheek is. A little bit there. And then my forehead. Doo, 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 doo. And now I'm going into my darker one, which is this one right here. And then I go right here. And down to my neckline. So after that, I go into my eyebrows. Um, now, I switch from my eyebrows a lot. Sometimes, I, uh, majority of the time, I do use the Anastasia pomade um, to do my eyebrows and their little brush as well for the eyebrows. But when I'm in a rush or sometimes because if I'm on the go and I just grab my makeup bag and for some reason the pomade's not in there, whatever, my go-to and what saves me all I do is buy a little brush like this that's angled, that's angled like that. I go in with my eyeshadow palette. I go in with this brown right there. It's like a chocolate brown. I dip it right in, tap off the axis. Sorry, my it's all jinked, it's all ripped up. I, it's, I use it so much but so again I just tap off the axis and go on and fill in my brows with the um, powder itself and this is a perfect trick for the ones who maybe don't have the money to spend on two different products and I know like Anastasia Beverly Hills it's a more of a pricey um, makeup line but um, this is for the ones who if you go buy 
you can go buy a brush like this like um at elf elf is a really cheap um makeup brand and very affordable and they sell brushes for like three dollars two dollars a dollar so if you just go get that and use an eyeshadow palette that you already have um sorry my time is like and use an eyeshadow palette that you already have dip it in the brown or a color that's close to what you what matches your skin color and your hair and all that um and it works just as great i first like to start off i first start off right where my eyebrow right here the bottom line of my eyebrow that's what i first start to fill out i first start in the front draw the line of my bottom and then start filling in the rest of my brow now the reason why i don't start off first by um going here in the front of my eyebrow it's because your brush has the most product on it because you just dipped it and so you don't want this to be so dark so you want to always you always want the darkest part of your eyebrow to always be here from like right here to here like the center of your eyebrow you always want that part to be the darkest definitely not the front part because then your eyebrows are gonna be looking like too intense, too strong. Um, so yeah. With the same brush, with the same product, the same run or whatever you wanna call it, I lay the brush like this and I just go up like that. So, for my eyeshadow on my everyday look I like to use one brush and I love this technique because if I'm on a rush or I gotta take my makeup to go um, I don't have to worry about having all these brushes and this and for this and then and all that no I use one brush for everything and it's e blending it's a blending brush if I can recommend a to a must-have brush in your makeup collection it has to be a blending brush because for example, the colors that you would always place on your eyelid, you can always use your finger or something if that's like the worst case scenario. But to blend, you can't blend with your fingers. Do you know what I mean? Like a brush does for you. And the brush that I used is, it's around here somewhere. This brush came in a, another makeup palette that I had, but it has a um, blending brush. This is what a blending brush is and if you already know these terms kudos to you but this is the i'm saying this for the ones who um don't um really know and then on the other side it just has this flat um brush there which is good for to place your eyeshadow and then this is good to blend it so the first colors that i go in with are raw sienna and burnt orange i always like to blend these two right here oh, so i dip them in both always tap off the excess so the powder um the eyeshadow doesn't you don't have fall out here and what i do is place these colors and this works as to as the transitioning color um just like what we did to contour, we first put on the light one and then we put on the darker one and we put on the light one to warm up our face. So now we're going to do to warm up our eyes. So what I do is go in circular motions and I place it on the outer. I put it here in the outer and then I go in like that. Just to add a little bit of color, I do add this one right here which is that one right here Re real girl tap 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 and i do the exact same thing then after i do that i go in with the first two colors i went with in the beginning with this side of the brush 
and place it right at the bottom. The color, the orange one. And they go right bottom. Okay, then I go in with my blending brush and blend it. We're almost done, so now I just go in with my eyelash curler. Curl my lashes. Give it a couple pumps. Perfect. Now I'm going to go in with my mascara and I use the Colossal Volume Express Cat Eyes waterproof i need waterproof mascara i do not like to use non-waterproof because i don't care who you are your lashes will stay up last long all day if you use waterproof mascara is it a little just a tad bit harder to take off in the night when you take your makeup off yes obviously with non-waterproof mascara you could just it comes off easily but if you are someone who likes would like your lashes to be nice and you know curled all day definitely use waterproof mascara and this one's actually my favorite mascara i always go back to this one even after and you guys can see how i'm applying at the bottom of my lashes and then i wiggle wiggle side to side going up like that these are, if you guys see this, it's because it's my microphone. The hairs of my microphone. Oh my god. But yeah, so just dip. And wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Awesome. So now we have our mascara on. I let it dry a little bit and then I go on with more mascara just because I like not a lot, a lot of mascara on, but I do like a good amount of mascara on. I let it dry a little bit. After that, I just go in with a napkin, whatever you want to go in with, and I just clean up my lips. And that's the last step. But I do like to usually do curls. Um, so if you guys would like to see a video on that, let me know. I think I would definitely record because I think a lot of us girls like loose, wavy curls. So I'll probably do a video on that a different day. But for now, this is just the very, very simple everyday makeup look um obviously it takes longer here because i have to explain and give my thoughts on stuff and all that stuff but um usually this takes me 10 minutes i know it may sound like what 10 minutes but really 10 minutes um if i'm just like do 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 and plus i already know the the order that i do makeup i know how to apply everything and all that so that's why it doesn't take me as long um and as you go, you will definitely get better and all that, you know. Um, but yeah, so I'll do a... Maybe that could be my next video. Um, a beachy kind of loose wave curls. And people have asked me how I curl my hair. So I think it'll be a fun video to film for you guys. Um, but that's pretty much all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for sticking through it all if you have. Um, I hope all these tips that I shared with you guys helped you for the ones who didn't know those tips um but yeah i'll see you guys next time and have a good day and remember god is good all the time bye did stop i think you know just because of work and all this stuff. i think my lens is dirty